At its height, more than 100 firemen from all over the West Midlands tackled the Bingley Hall fire. The damage runs into many hundreds of thousands of pounds. The fire began in a tent inside the exhibition hall at just after 8.30 in the morning. It took two hours to bring under control. Amazingly, no one was injured. So far, no official cause has been given. One theory is that an electric fire was left on all night. Much of the roof area of the main hall was destroyed and more than two-thirds of the exhibition stands were gutted too. This morning, the clearing operations began in earnest as rain lashed the ageing exhibition hall, first opened in 1851. Fire experts were there too, trying to pinpoint a cause. Because of the new proposed convention centre planned in nearby Broad Street, many had expected the Bingley Hall to be in line for demolition in the next few years. But the managing director of the company that leases the hall from the city council is confident the hall still has a future. Well, at the moment we're assessing the damage and the only way we can do that competently is to bring in professional people, um, structural engineers, architects, etc. Um, and subject to the, uh, it being quite viable financially and feasibly possible, we're going to repair the hall as quickly as possible and try to get open, in fact, by Easter for our International Customer Sports Car Show. How severe a fire was it in your experience? A very severe fire and a very dangerous and difficult one. And presumably that presented many difficult problems for your men tackling it? It did indeed, uh, not only taking account of the building, but the contents we've got. There's a lot of um, compressed liquefied gas cylinders in here, and indeed some fuel tanks with uh, petroleum spirit in, so yes, we did have problems. Now looking around it today, it does look a bit of a mess, but structurally it still seems intact. Yes, in fact we've got a building surveyor coming shortly to uh, assess the situation. Um, there's approximately a third of the roof gone, but the remaining two thirds is intact. This morning many stall holders who lost their belongings in the fire turned up at the Bingley Hall. Many will have to return later in the week because of the hall's structural safety. But one man who was allowed in was Jason Conrad, known to millions as Mr Safety, the Green Cross code man. He was asleep in his exhibition van inside the hall when the fire broke out. His was a terrifying story. Smoke everywhere. I noticed at the back then when I ran out, red, which were obviously flames. And, um, you know, I, I was just sort of fairly scared, I'm sure, as you can appreciate. Ran out, couldn't see a thing, and, and, and tried to get out. Um, I went from door to, I say door to door, I saw a door, ran around trying to find another door. Uh, and finally ended up at the same door and kicking it in. I don't know, I got some strength from somewhere and kicking it in and finally getting out, choking and coughing. Uh, I'm very lucky, you know, as I say, the thing blew up apparently as well. So, I mean, I could have been burnt, blown up or choked. And, of course, you've got one sign left, that's about it. Isn't very it? sadly, this is all that's left at the moment, but I, I'll have to bounce back somehow.